Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I re-dyed my hair using the L'Oreal Technique Chroma True Reds, but this time in the color Sangria. Um, if you guys want to know how I got this, keep watching the video. I love you guys, and until next time. Okay, and to get everything prepared, you're gonna wanna get a small bowl, a small container that you don't use. In my case, it's a bowl that I use every time I dye my hair, as you can see. And you wanna start squeezing your products in there. Uh, I use two tubes of hair dye because of the length of my hair. You wanna make sure that you squeeze as much product as you can out. And once you do that, you're gonna wanna, ha um, you're gonna wanna add the developer. In my case, I eyeball everything, even when I bake, and I know the consistency that I like it, that it should be. And I bought this whisk at Sally's for like a dollar, and, and you wanna just mix everything as well as you can. Be patient with this. You wanna make sure everything is good. And as you can tell, I go back and add more developer. Like I said, I eyeball it, but if you do not, um, if you are not good at this or not comfortable, feel free to use some sort of measuring cup. So yeah, just mix, mix, mix away. sure that you either put Vaseline or baby oil something on your face that um, will kind of make it easy for you to wash off your dye that you get so I'm just gonna put baby oil all over but on your ears I know they sell ear caps but homegirl did not want to spend the buck or whatever it was to buy that you're done doing that you're gonna what you're gonna want to do is part your hair start from the bottom up because there's still some dark places in my hair like in the middle of my hair and the roots since it's virgin hair it's gonna take the color like this so I always like starting from the bottom up make sure by the way I have towels on the floor I have my whole counter here covered with aluminum foil and bags just because homegirl here is not the neatest so yeah after your color has already mixed well together so i you can also get this at sally's for a dollar and i like it i mean at first i grab it um with the brush like for my roots and stuff and then i use my hands to kind of like work it in so you want to grab a little bit on your brush and start with this. Flip and make sure you got the back side. As you can see, I'm squinting, I'm doing some funky faces, but it's because this product is strong like any hair dye. And you know, I'm really close to my eyes and it kind of burns your eyes. So if you're not used to dyeing your hair or haven't done this before, I suggest you ask someone to do it for you and it'll be easier. But yeah, don't mind my ugly faces, just accept it, let it be. <laughs>
Okay, and after applying all the product thoroughly throughout your hair, you're gonna wanna cover it with a plastic bag, or in my case, I use aluminum foil. You are gonna look a hot mess. I had hair dye everywhere, but what can you do? <laughs> it's part of the process. And I left it in for 45 minutes. I know the box says 30 minutes, but what can I say? I'm a rebel. <laughs> so just let it process, and after that, of course, you're gonna wanna wash it off. I really am so happy with the end result. I really am obsessed with this color. It's such a beautiful fall color. I'm so excited to rock it now that it's gonna be fall. I hope you guys found this video useful. Uh, I feel like this color is different than the ruby and has more of an orangey tone. The ruby has more of a pinkier tone, but nonetheless, both of them are beautiful colors. If I decide to try another red color, of course I'll film it for you guys. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I love you guys, and until next time, mwah!